Well, hello, Blackhawk family. Uh, Pastor Steve here with you from my office on a Tuesday afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to come back and revisit some things from uh, my sermon uh, from the 27th of December from last year. Weird, that's last year at this point. I think that the sermon uh, and the, the points of the sermon work well as maybe resolutions for the new year. At least that's how I've been uh, interacting with them. The three points were from Habakkuk 3, stand in awe, uh, remember his provision, and uh, don't throw away your confidence. And I think that that's a pretty good way to enter into the new year. I think it's a pretty good way to navigate whatever's coming our way here in uh, 2021 to remember uh, God's provision for us uh, in the past, to have a proper posture toward him, to see him for who he is, um, to acknowledge, to dwell on, to meditate on his goodnesses to us, to remember times in the past that he's come through for us. I think it's really helpful to look back on a year like 2020 um, and now look forward to the year 2021 and in the middle of bad circumstances and 2020 was a year of bad circumstances for a lot of us uh, some of those bad circumstances are lingering on into the new year a way to to navigate those bad present circumstances is to remember that God has come through in the past and he's never going to not come through so I stand in awe of who he is I celebrate I, I meditate I live in that place I remember times he's come through in the past. And then the third thing in, in, the, in the sermon was don't throw away your confidence. And not throwing away your confidence means that you are, 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 you're placing your faith and your hope and your trust in sure places. To throw away your confidence means that you're looking to wrong things or wrong places or wrong people um, to, to make your feet secure. And so... In the new year, in 2020, as it's out ahead of us and it's, we don't know what it's going to hold. <clears throat> We're hoping for good things. We live in hope. But my friends, I, I just would leave you with that today, that I invite you to continue to stand in awe, to remember his provision, to not throw away your confidence, certainly as it lo looking back at 2020, to be sure. But also offer that to you as a way to look ahead to 2021 and all that God has for us in this new year. Very excited about it. I'm encouraging you. I'm resolved myself to live in that way, uh, to celebrate God's goodnesses uh, in the present, in the past, and to place my hope and my confidence and my faith and my trust in him in the future. May it be so for us. I'll see you soon. God bless you. We'll talk soon.